Police have raided a Queensland cotton farm as part of an investigation into the alleged fraudulent use of Commonwealth Murray-Darling Basin funds. Detectives are urging anyone with any information about the activities at Norman Farming near the Queensland border to come forward. Police execute a search warrant on Norman Farming near Gundawindi. They're investigating allegations Norman Farming and some of its contractors have made fraudulent funding claims against the Healthy Headwaters Project, a Commonwealth-funded program aimed to improve the Murray-Darling River system administered by the Queensland Government. At this stage, uh, the uh, analysis that we've undertaken would say that the possibly significant fraud uh, coming against the Healthy Headwaters Project. Owned by John Norman, the large agricultural conglomerate was recently placed on the market for more than $100 million. According to a Department of Agriculture email obtained by Lateline, Norman Farming received $25 million for eight water-saving projects, aiming to increase the amount of water flowing into the Murray-Darling River system. If there are people out there that may have knowledge of this type of fraudulent activity being committed by a farmer, uh, they may even suspect that they're involved themselves either uh, wittingly or unwittingly, uh, I would urge them to contact uh, the Gundy Windy Police. Neighbour Chris Lamy alleges levee-like structures built on Norman farming land caused his property to flood last year and believes less water is flowing downstream in the Murray-Darling. Farmers say that there are not enough checks and balances with the Healthy Headwaters program. You put your invoices in and tell the Queensland Government that's what you're doing, they still pay you. And then they don't check to see about the water efficiency. The Queensland Government says it won't be commenting while an investigation is ongoing. Louisa Rebgetz, ABC News.